How's it going guys? Today we're going to go over how my SCR controller works. Alright guys, as you can hear, I got this still heating up. I kind of uh, got out of work a little late, so I got this thing heating up here. I'm just doing a, a stripping run on some sugar wash. But I wanted to go over in detail how the SCR controller works how I built this thing and designed this thing to work with my still. So I'm gonna get a close up here of the SCR controller and kind of show you guys how it works. Now, as you can see here, I have a temperature gauge. This is an amp and voltmeter. It also gives me the time that I've had this thing running and the kilowatt hours that I've spent running it. The temperature inside the box and how many watts I'm currently throwing at it. Also the voltage, okay? The on off switch is way up here. This turns on everything and shuts off everything. The SCR only turns on the SCR. If I turn down the voltage or down the uh, percentage on the SCR, you'll be able to hear the still kind of slow down here. But you can also see the numbers changing here the watts and the amperage. Basically what this does is limit the amount of amps that my elements can pull through it. I'm gonna turn it back up here to get her rocking again. And as you can see, as it goes up, the amperage, the wattage goes back up on the gauge. That this can this this scr controller controls one this bottom plug right here this top plug is just a static plug if i click my auxiliary plug on my first one that's my 220 auxiliary plug and as you can see my amperage has jumped to 27.8 amps i'm drawing 65.8 or 6,500 watts. I don't need two of them on right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut one off, and as you can see, they both start to fall. Now, if I turn the PID on here, at the very bottom, I have a PID. I don't have a thermal uh, probe plugged in, so it's gonna give us an error. But what this does is controls, one, this bottom 110 outlet. And the reason why I set that up that way is because in this space beside my box is gonna be where the my four fermenters go. I wanna be able to control my fermentation and run my still all from one location. You can see at the top here that the temperature probe, the temperature gauge works just fine. It's kind of bouncing back and forth as we heat up the still here, but you know, she'll climb up to you know, 170, 100, 180 degrees, and we'll start running off some liquor. All right, guys, I hope that helped. I hope you understand how this thing works a little bit more. For those of you that have any questions, go ahead and email me or leave a comment down in the section below. If you want to see how I built this thing, I'll put a link right up here in the description. You guys can check it out. Have an awesome week.